just what did I tell you about this manly home game? Auckland are sending out a message that here come the bad guys. This is a very good football team, Matthew. And they are packed in here. This is a sensational atmosphere. I know that you went down to a very tense manly dressing room. I've never seen the boys so nervous and uh, I know Graham is very, very ner nervous. I myself am nervous, but I'm sure the crowd is certainly going to lift us today and hopefully we'll come away with the win. But in saying that, Newcastle, a very, very well performed outfit so far and I think Manly are going to have their work cut out and will certainly have to play to their potential. Manly have a tough job in the forwards against Newcastle. One of the biggest packs in the game. Just keep an eye out for the likes of Paul Harrigan and Mark Sargent. Two giants who can really plough up the middle. 40 metres out from the Manly line. Here's Harrigan! What a tackle from Iro! Just how tough is Harrigan? Talk about a runaway train, both men. Hagen now taking over. I've got my eye on Harrigan, who's just carrying his shoulder a little. Tony Ira really let him know that he was around. Darrell Williams now, as the kick is put down to him, 12 and 13 metres out from his own line. Tony Ira has spent some time in the forwards, Matthew. I think he's learning well. Oh, he certainly is. He's a big man, and, you know, when he gets a chance to put a hit on, he's certainly not shy, and we certainly saw that then. Tremendous start to the game. Bella. Just a little sneaky headbutt there from Bella. And Harrigan lets him have a right cross. Bella thinks better of it now. Harrigan will be called back. But there's no doubt that Bella was just tempted to give him a little nod. Hosking, broken hand and all. Forget about the pain. They call him the mule. He will work all day long for Graham Lowe and Manley. Bella now once more taken by Harrigan. They slam him. He is a sick man, Martin Bella. He ran into a pile of trouble. Harrigan was there, Sargent was there. Graham, he's, Martin Bella's coming to the game with the shoulder injury, and it's certainly not helping getting slammed back like that. Tooby, plenty of fire in this. John Jones was hit hard off the ball. Touch judges and referees will have to have eyes in the back of their heads shortly. Marquette. Tony Kemp got a big welcoming back to Carlo Park then. Now Harrigan. Last tackle. Really looks as though Sergeant and Harrigan are going to be the dangers. Glanville! He's got support from Boyd. Boyd's got support from Ron Wall. Try time! Good short passing. And on a short blind, they busted Manley. Just some... Quick interchanges. Manly tried to cover up. Newcastle scored by Matthew Rodwell. But they kept the ball alive beautifully on the Lion Red replay. McCormick. He goes down looking for Glanville. Inside is Boyd. And unmarked with that free run was Rodwell to finish off. Manly caught short on numbers on the outside. Very disappointing, but. I must say, Newcastle, they've come into this game, obviously not a home game for them, but they're certainly firing, and Matthew Rodwell, he's gone over for two tries in 92 so far, and he's certainly made a big in impact on the game. He meets this one better, a ton better. Good scoreline for the Knights, 8-0. Who wants to take on this man? He gets it back. The siren has gone. O'Connor's got a chance. Hancock, he must kick. He gets it infield. O'Connor, the ball's gone everywhere. Lions, he gets a marvellous ball away. What a try. Unbelievable. Oh, great try. Fantastic try. Oh, what a stunner. 11 metres away. Sergeant, now it's Hagen. Looking for runners. He brings McCormick in up the middle. Now, Desi Hasler really deliberately tried to trip him. Rodwell numbers out wide. Marquette up the middle. Now it's wide. They don't get there. Yes, they do. And about the third attempt, they read it right. Manley didn't recover. 
and Hagen gets the try for Newcastle. Lion Red replay. They had a couple of chances on the last. Rodwell was forced up the middle. Marquette thought he had a chance. It closed. Hands and knees from Miller. They run out of numbers, Manly in defence, and Hagen diving over the line. It's all started from Manly's poor kicking game, I think, Graham. And Newcastle taking advantage of that. Some good slick passing. I thought it had died just there, but managed to get up, and Hagen dives over. Nilly, the shepherd. Last tackle, so the defence holds. Williams, kicking timeout wide. Hancock! Hancock! Oh, oh, what a try! try. Fantastic kick! The defence from Newcastle was great. They forced Manly to put in the kick. Now O'Connor's in behind the play of the ball. Does he want a chance at it? Maybe. He's got time. Great kick. Right down the middle. They do it superbly, very professional. They set up for it. 13-12, Carlos Park again explodes. Michael O'Connor, he's kicked a magic goal from the sideline. He floats this one right down the middle. Last tackle. This might be the last look, the last throw of the dice for the Knights. Hagen! Great ball up for Stewart. Still a chance, kick! Kick goes wide, Gordon! Unbelievable! I think they went to sleep on Hagen. He kept it alive incredibly. Last tackle was the final pass good. Lion Red replay. Look at this ball to Stewart. Great passing. Stokes had shortened the line and left them unmarked. That ball was line ball, looked a touch forward. Tony Kemp having a look at the referee there. Very anxious moments indeed. As we see here, Newcastle sticking to their guns. Great ball movement. Fantastic ball there from Hagen. Sammy Stewart offloads. Here we see Tony Kemp putting Ashley Gordon away. Great try and full credit to Newcastle. They've come back superbly well. McCormick, last tackle, Newcastle. Manley will at least get another touch. Rodwell, Hancock couldn't control it. They will have to pack this scrum pretty quickly. O'Connor was screaming at his forwards. Yes. No time. No time at all. Full credit to the Knights. Great match here at Carlaw Park. Manly will rue some vital mistakes. Newcastle, after a fine start in the first half, they got started themselves again just late in the match to get there. Michael Hagen popped up a great ball to keep them alive for the final try. Big celebrations for the Knights. Big celebrations. Schuster, all smiles with Harrigan. And both sides come over now to thank this great crowd at Carlaw Park. Fine exhibition. In front of a full house, Manly thought they had it. But Newcastle showing under David Waite what a force they're going to be in the Winfield Cup of 1992. They've got the scoreline. They've got the points. They've got a nice high position after round four of the Winfield Cup of 1992. Still more appreciation from the fans. Disappointing for the numbers that turned out for Manly Shaw. Hagen, Rodwell, Gordon try scorers for the night. Schuster, two goals. O'Connor got a couple of goals. The field goal that nearly won it. Hancock and Williams, some fine rugby league in those two tries. What a match.